Hey, welcome back to the Audio Lang Show. Look who's here. A hot, funny chick. This is a rarity. Oh, that's so but nice. But she's she's <laughs> she's Sicilian and <laughs> Sicilian and Irish. That's a good combination. I was telling her this. That's that's the best. Everybody should strive to do that. I wish I had more Irish. In me. Strive to make it. Yeah, to be that 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 combination is perfect. But uh, she's on Girl Code, and uh, one of my friends Krista Stefano, and he's on Guy Code. But you guys go back and forth. Right? Yeah, that's my boy. I love Chris. Jessime Peluso. <laughs> You're like the first person to say it right. Uh, really? Yeah. I just called you Taylor before. Uh, it's Taylor Williams. <laughs> you called me Taylor Williams. Yeah, I did. I said Taylor Williams. <laughs> no, but Jessime Peluso, that is a name. Uh, yeah. good, good for you for not changing that. It's like, a mouthful. You just like, look, deal with it, right? Yeah, just deal with it. My mom grew up on a farm, and, you know, she named me after a cow. Uh -huh. Is that true? Well, no. I mean, her, her name's Nancy like Lou, and my sister's <laughs> Emily Jane. Really? There's a lot of, like, the hyphenate, you uh -huh. know, the middle and the first name. And your old man's a Sicilian guy who just... Giuseppe fine. Peluso. Your mother's probably hot as hell, right? She's gorgeous. She was, yeah. yeah she was. she was a looker. Yeah. Brock, uh, Brock was crippled by your entrance. I don't know if you realize that. What happened? What I was happened? talking to Brock when you w walked in. and Brock's a guy on our show. He absolutely completely lost he? track of what I was I don't know if he's saying. here. He's back. He's back. In Brock? The, I think he's in the green room. Is he cute? He was, it, he's still in well, the back. Listen, do you he's wear this when you do stand-up? Wear what? Clothes? What you, what no, wearing. I don't wear clothes when I do stand-up. you crazy? <laughs> no, I mean, but this is, like, this is a very <laughs> provocative look, or is it not? Is it? I don't know, with a tank top and a jacket. The jeans are, like, painted on. Well, you know, I like skinny jeans. I'm a skinny girl. When yeah. I get older, you know, when my what, butt is all flabby, I'll wear sweatpants. What are skinny jeans? What, what, what are, I hear like people tight. say that. Are they jeggings? Is that, is that a brand? I actually have jeggings on. If you judge me, I'll punch you in your chin strap. What's a jeggings? <laughs> What's a it's jeggings? Like, it's like tights that Tight. look like jeans. Do, what, yeah. what, what is that, a dorky It's thing? like if you what can't is? afford jeans, you get jeggings. Oh, it's a, well, <laughs> unless you're a comic. <laughs> Uh, but but uh, yeah, so I mean, you, do you do stand up in like skin tight outfits? No, not not no, not not normally. It's got to uh, be hard. It to... won't be. Yeah, I don't I don't like to wear anything provocative on stage. How'd you get into stand up? Like you look like um, you. And where'd you, where'd you go to college? I didn't go to college. Oh, I yeah. moved from Syracuse when I was eighteen to Boston, oh, and okay. uh, I started doing improv there. And then oh, I no took kidding. like a little writing course. And where? Uh, it, it was a group called the Tribe. And um, I just did a little bit of writing. So I you're a joined tough, a... you're a tough kid. You're like, you uh, just said, the hell with it. I'm on my own at 18. Yeah, well, I knew. I looked in Syracuse, and I looked at the lives that other people had, and I didn't want any of those lives. You wanted to leave. You don't want to be provincial, Syracuse. Yeah. You want to get out of there. I don't want kids or meth. Well, I wanted one day, something else. Well, one day you want both of those. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's what, what I'm good. saving for. I'm saving Hopefully for Hopefully the meth, meth will come first. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, well, I, and honestly, because you see, you're such a you're, you're a tougher person than I am. I always get like, uh, you know, 18 years old. You're a, you're a good-looking girl. There's a lot of problems with that, you know, because uh, guys are gonna hit on you. I was 26 when I had to move out to LA to do a show, and I, I moved out there. I stayed with my in Jersey with my mom. You know, the, the entire time I'm doing stand-up, I crash in places around here, I do coke for four days, and I come home. And uh, <laughs> honestly, I used to do, in the early 90s, this city was so crazy, I used to do coke at these after-hours clubs, and I would be at the comic strip in the cellar four days in a row with the same clothes on, okay? And you just look at me and you go, well, he's gonna die. But uh, I, I always had to go home to mom and get raviolis and stuff. Yeah. I had to move to California at 26. You moved at 18. And I lived in LA. I didn't know where to buy shampoo. I called my mother. <laughs> I called my mother. I go, where do you get soap? Like, <laughs> I feel like guys don't know that anyways now. Uh, yeah, but I was so I was we such don't. a mama's boy. It was so terrible. The people I, I worked at the Mad TV, and everyone the writers would make fun of me. My mother would send me. She'd look at my hair on TV. She'd go, <laughs> "You look terrible." And she would send me a vent brush in the mail, and I'd open it in front of the writer. <laughs> That's so sweet. A it, care package. It's sweet, but then you get crippled. Uh, so now when you go to Boston and when does stand up come in? Um shortly after, within a year, um, I was told I was funny and I should try right. try it. And it was never anything I thought I could do because in Syracuse there was like one comedy club and it was crappy. Oh, but you were in Boston at this point. Yeah, but uh, I mean like growing up I never thought about being a stand up comic. Oh, okay. I always loved it, but I didn't think it was something that I could do because I wasn't around it until I got to Boston. I was like, Oh, I can do this, so yeah, I, I just tried. Yeah, I played that tried. club in Cirque. What was the name of the club? They wise a, Guys. A Wise Guys. Yeah. You right. remember Bruno? Yeah. Yeah, that was, I, mean, I did that 20 years ago. That's when he was running the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was a lot of scary guys oh, in the, yeah. the stand-up business. But that's what I mean. So you didn't mind that? You got into the clubs, and then you... I just yeah. loved it. I loved... How old are you now? I'm 30. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I just love... No, I tr just turned 31. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks ago. Boy, you're very into it. <laughs> My God, I'm like... That just happens. trying to hang on to the 30. <laughs> just trying to hang on to it. How long have you been doing it for, then? Um, since I was 18. 
Stand-up? I've 18? been performing since I was 18. Oh, but what about st- hardcore stand-up? S- hardcore stand-up. I mean, like every night, like six nights a week for the past two and a half years. All in the city? Yeah. Where do you guys go? Like, where, where, like what Any, clubs are You know, there? just the bottom of some restaurant, really? the back of a bar, you oh, know, the okay. t- train station, I, just everywhere I can. There's I, so many, com- I'm not saying this against you because you're, you're funny and everything, but there's so many comedians now. So Like, I mean, many. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm, a, I'm a comedian. I, I'm at the clubs all the time still. I don't have Ray Romano money. I got still work. Yeah. And I go to work out material. Like, how come I've never seen you or, uh, like, uh, any of these people around these clubs? I don't know. I think just because there's so many you shows. You do the comic strip and stand yeah. in New York? And yeah, I was just there the two cellar? nights ago. Not the cellar yet, no. Yeah. Well, the, the, the cellar's got, like, that stigma attached. It's all, yeah. all, it's all those old guys. I, if I was young, <laughs> I'd want to... I, I, I was there at the table tonight, and it was me and Sarah Silverman and Louis C.K., and uh, Rob Kelly, and I, I see, like, younger comics sitting at the bar going, when are you leaving? <laughs> like we're still we're, con- we're we're taking over that place though, because uh, I'm sure I've seen some of your clips. It's it's fun. Like, you're yeah. very sarcastic. Yes. Is that what you do in your act? Um, I mean, there's a mixture of things that I do. It's just real stuff, like things that I experience. It's not yeah. like I don't joke about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's not you know like <laughs> whatever that kind of floaty material. But Girl Code is very much like that MTV hip thing about about dating, right? It's about dating, and it's about, like, everything that a girl experiences that can kind of be uncomfortable and that hasn't been spoken about. And also some topics... I mean, the way we deliver it is very... Uh, it can be kind of crass and goofy, but some of the subjects, like, if I were younger and I had this show, it would have made me feel a little bit more at ease about turning certain ages and going right. through experiences. Right, right, right. Oh, oh really? So yeah. you think it's like a social... It helps socially, too. I'm not saying it's changing lives <laughs> here, guys. I'm not saying that this is, like, groundbreaking television. It's not PBS, but it's... No, uh, but as a young girl in this generation, it's tough. Well, it's good to see younger girls seeing women be funny, though. I really do yeah. think that, yeah. you know? Because Carly Aquilino, I know. Yeah, that's my girl too. Right. You two should have a show together. My God, you should. You two should play cousins or something. Did you guys hear that? Did yeah. it, is it, did, we, did we get that? Uh, the you direct, like that idea? The, the head of Direct TV is here. The the capo de tuto capo is here. You can make that happen. I can't even tell you how many times people say that to us on Twitter. No, I mean, my God, yeah, you should just do, like play cousins from Staten Island. Yeah, something. that should be the uh, title right there. Bam, <laughs> I'll cut you in on the deal. <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm, fine, I'll take a cre- <laughs> created by credits I've been given for less. Believe me. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, we got to take a break. So, uh, where are you performing? Are you at uh, a club or where? I don't even know what day it is right now. What day is it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Um, the 24th. Where am I? I don't even know. So, well, what about uh, when's Girl Code on? Girl Code's going to air October 29th, season two. That's another season of it already? Yeah. And yeah. you're on it all the time, I know, right? I am. Yeah. I'm on it all the time. Oh, go. Cool. When you come back, we'll talk about some of the stuff you talk about on there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll be right back with Jessamy Peluso. That, that is a great showbiz <laughs> name. Uh, after these words. The Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.